Why did Cody look away from the fight? Please be right, please be right, please be right. Here's my proof. Proof? Um, uh, can I do that? Wasn't right. He, oh wait, no, 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 no. He missed the climax of the fight because he was looking at something else? Or he was looking at something else. Probably. Probably. That's not what I wanted to click on. Something else. Mr. Wright, explain yourself. What could possibly distract this boy from seeing his idol, the Steel Samurai, fight? What do you claim he was looking at? I- that's not what I meant to click on, by the way. I meant to click on he couldn't watch it. Because he couldn't watch it. How could he calmly watch a murder taking place at his age? Oh, that's not what I wanted either. I don't know what to do here. Just a moment, please. One thing has become quite clear in this boy's testimony. He did not believe he was witnessing a murder. He was watching the Steel Samurai fight, like on TV. The more real the fight, the more he would have watched. Um, huh. I have to agree with Mr. Edgeworth. Well, Mr. Wright, do you have another explanation? We have ascertained that this- okay. My only guess is that he, I have to show evidence, but I don't know what the f fuck they want me to show. Uh, I don't know. I'll try this one, but it's not gonna be it. I like, I don't. I don't know. I know there's supposed to be evidence, but apparently it's not his scrapbook. So I don't know. Come on, think of something. Think of something. Nothing. Mr. Wright, please refrain from making baseless claims. E yes, sorry, Your Honor. Maybe he was. Oh! Okay. I don't know what else it could be, but my best guess is maybe he didn't see the whole fight because he was so busy trying to figure out how to work his camera. Because he did mention before that he just got this camera a while ago. And he doesn't fully know how it works. So I think he missed the fight. Because he was fiddling with this camera. Trying to take a shot of it. And failed or something went wrong. And that's why it didn't work. I think it's going to be because of the camera. I think. Because I literally can't think of anything else right now. I can only think it was because of the camera. It's not the scrapbook. I think it's because of the camera. Please be right, because I don't know what else it could be. The music stopped. I was right. Here's my proof. What's that? A camera? The witness stated that he recently received this camera. Yes, I'm aware of that. He wasn't entirely familiar with its operation. I'm aware of that too. Ah! Correct. Why would Cody be looking somewhere else at the critical moment? Because he was looking at his camera. 
He was trying to take a picture. Bye! Bullseye. What's your problem, Pops? You gotta think we're picking up little kids! Pressing, not picking. Good job, Phoenix. Cody was lying, clearly. Smart of you to realize there was no way he could just stand there watching his hero and not take a picture. Right. Cody? There was only one reason why you would have looked away from the fight. And that's because you wanted to take a picture. But having just received your camera, you weren't used to using it yet. So you missed the climax of the fight. Correct? Mm. Yeah. Well, Phoenix, I'll bet you anything he's hiding more than that. Have him testify again. Right. Mia means business. Hell yeah, she does. Your Honor, the defense would like to request that Cody Hackins testify once more. V very well. Cody, could you please tell us about your camera? And about why you didn't take a picture of the fight? Um... Welcome to the real world, kid. Oh, he looks so sad. Yeah, you're right, Bobs. The Steel Samurai had just escaped from the clutches of the villain. So I held up my camera to take a picture. But the lens wouldn't open in time, so I missed it. That, that's how that happened. Yup. He's lying. He's holding something back. Hmm. Anything strange in that testimony, Mr. Wright? I'm not sure. But I'd like to proceed with the cross-examination anyway. I'm gonna press by what he means by that the Steel Samurai escaped from the clutches of the villain. Yeah, this I'm confused by. What do you mean? So you did see the beginning of the fight. Yeah. Did you notice anything unusual? Um, well... Uh, I guess the Steel Samurai was moving a little strange. Moving strangely? Probably the limp. So I held on my camera to take a picture. But the lens wouldn't open in time, so I missed it. That's, uh, yeah, no. Press this. Press that. That's all? Y yeah! I told you! I didn't take a picture! I would have, once I got that lens open. Did he really not take a picture? Not even one? Press him hard! No, he definitely would have taken a picture. There's gotta be something here I can use. Cody. Listen up, Cody Hackins. I know exactly what happened to that day. You took a picture. 
Hey! Bullseye? Uh, how did you know? I see through all your lies, Cody Hackens. It's one of my powers. W wow! This feels great. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I took a picture. Perhaps you can change your testimony to reflect this, Cody? And then how about showing us the pic? What was in the pic, Cody? Tell us. Uh, I took a few shots, but I was too, but it was too late, so I erased them. Press. Press! You erase them? You, yeah! Why would you erase a picture of your beloved steel samurai, Victor Victorious? Well, you know. But why would I want to keep a picture like that? You're a scrapbook? Mm, he's becoming less and less cooperative. Better find a clear contradiction soon. Or some solid evidence. How can I pick holes in such a short testimony? There has to be something. Dig up the dirt, Phoenix. Find out what this kid's all about. Finally. Cody. What? Man, every time you say Cody, you follow it with something bad. I just wanted to thank you for giving me this the other day. Huh? Uh, oh, right. What was it you told me then? I go to every live performance. I always take a picture when the Steel Samurai lands the final blow. Wazam! I got them all. I never missed one. A perfect collection. Cody, did you really get a picture of the Steel Samurai standing victorious over his foe? If you did, I find it hard to believe that you would just erase it. Wouldn't you keep it for your album? Mr. Wright, what exactly is this album? Let's see, am I actually gonna sneeze this time? No, of course not. It's called Path to Glory. It's a collection of pictures of the Steel Samurai, all taken by Cody Hackens. He claims it's a perfect collection of every battle the Steel Samurai has won. I. I see. Don't you find this very odd, your honor? Among all his pictures of the Steel Samurai, none were taken that day. Order! Mr. Wright. Have you an explanation? If the Steel Samurai had just defeated his adversary 
I certainly would expect to see a picture of it in this album. Exactly my point, Your Honor. No. Wait. No way! Phoenix? I think we finally discovered the truth. And what a truth it is. Mumia, are we sure about this? The stamp samurai didn't win. Did he actually? Yes. I'm pretty sure what you're thinking is right. Tell them, Phoenix. Tell them what the truth is. Mr. Wright, please explain to the court what is going on here. Why was there no picture in the album from the day of the murder? Why would the boy have erased the photos he took? Yep, it's right there! Steel Samurai didn't win! I could think of only one reason, Your Honor. The Steel Samurai didn't win. That's why Cody deleted those photos. You mean the Steel Samurai... lost? Well, Cody, I'm right, aren't I? Tell the truth. The bad guy defeated the Steel Samurai. No way! No! It, it's impossible! The, the Steel Samurai never loses! He never loses to anyone! Ever! Your Honor... The witness has revealed everything with his words. There was a reason why he lied and told us he didn't take a picture. The same reason he erased his precious photos. For Cody... It was inconceivable that the Steel Samurai could be defeated. However, Cody, Cody witnessed the impossible. He saw the Steel Samurai lose, yet to admit what he saw would destroy everything he believed in. That's why he lied and said the Steel Samurai won. He couldn't handle the truth. Which is so sad. Uh, order! I will have order! W witness! I mean, Cody, is this true? What did you see? Tell the court what you saw. I... <laughs> this is so sad. This kid had his whole fantasy, like, crushed. His superhero idol got killed. And, ugh, that's so sad. Cody, that day, you saw the Steel Samurai lose a fight, right? Ah! Okay, okay! You're right! The Steel Samurai fell down! The, then he did it!
Order, order, order! What kind of stunt are you trying to pull, right? The Steel Samurai was the murderer, not the victim. Yet according to your witness's testimony, the Steel Samurai was the one who fell. What a twist! What a twist! Who really died? Was it the Steel Samurai? Was it the... The Magistrate? What happened? Mr. Wright, what's going on? Apparently, we have all made a serious error. An error? I do not know such a word as an error. What's this all about? Hammer was the victim. No! <laughs> That's absolutely not it. Steel Samurai was the victim. There was no victim. Steel Samurai was the victim? If you understand what really happened, it's actually quite simple. At the end of the fight, the steel samurai fell to the ground and lay still. In other words, the steel samurai was not the killer. He was the victim. Don't you see? Jack Hammer was the steel samurai. Oh. Sorry. For two seconds, I forgot Hammer was the actor who played the magistrate. And I thought they were saying Powers was the victim. But. So ignore me from a couple seconds ago where I was like, what I do? Obviously not. No, because it's already obvious that Hammer is the victim. But for some reason, Hammer was in the Steel Samurai costume. Order, order, order! So, the Steel Samurai in this photograph. They're saying the man in this costume was the victim, Mr. Jack Hammer? That's what I'm saying, your honor. Jack Hammer was present at the action scene run through that morning. Thus, he obviously knew that about Will Powers' foot injury. But, but wait! Hadn't Mr. Hammer gone to Studio One already? That's what everyone thought. But remember what Miss Oldback said in her testimony? the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1 p.m. Did I see a poor old hammer? Nope. He'd already gone to the studio before I got back to the guard station. Mr. Jack Hammer left the employee area after lunch. However, no one saw him going to Studio One, nor was there a picture of him. He waited for Mr. Powers to take a nap in his dressing room. Ooh. Then he snuck into the dressing room and stole the Steel Samurai costume. But why would the victim do such a thing? I don't know. I get it. Hmm? I thought that the Steel Samurai was moving strange. So it was a different person inside this suit. Pops! Huh? Me? What? Actually, there was one piece of data I saved. Data? Yeah, a photo on my digital camera. <gasps> Oops. Laptop, I need you to work, please. Oh, gosh. 
sorry, my laptop screen is dying. I really need to build a new computer, but money is never gonna happen! What? Show us quick! No way, man! Now if you gotta look at me like that... No! <laughs> Here, this is it. Nicely printed and available for the court. How convenient. Oh. Well, looking at this, it's still a little hard to say. I'm afraid that it could be anyone in the, uh, that costume. Your opinion, Mr. Wright? I agree, Your Honor. This isn't decisive evidence. I'm sorry, this doesn't look like it's the proof we need. I'll give it back. Wait, Phoenix. Mia? What? Look at that photo once more. That's it, Phoenix. That photo is all the evidence you need to win this trial. Wh what? I'm confused too. I don't know what she's saying. Y Your Honor, may I see that photo once more, please? Uh, so certainly. I don't see why not. Phoenix, show him. There is a glaring, decisive inconsistency with the fact set. Uh, look. With the facts as we know them in that photo. Wait. <gasps> oh! <coughs> <coughs> I know what it is. I know what it is. Uh, I know what it is. Ah! Okay, I gotta save though. Because... I just realized, they're not at Studio One. This is in front of Studio Two. You better see what I'm seeing. Your Honor, look at this. I see a gate. Might I draw your attention to the number on that gate? The number? Oh, uh, yes. Well, it's hard to see, but it looks like a two. Clearly not a one, your honor, correct? <laughs> your case is fucked, Edgeworth. Fucked. I didn't see it initially, but then I thought about it. I was like, oh, wait a minute. He said he got lost, so it totally makes sense that he didn't realize he was at Studio 2 instead of Studio 1 because the kid wouldn't know about it. He just got lost and there he was and there was the Steel Samurai. I believe Mr. Edgeworth sees what I'm getting at. But, but, th that's impossible. Hmm? Eh? What's this all about? Please explain so that I might be shocked along with the rest of the court. I'll use the studio guide map. The body was found here, in Studio One. However, what do we see in this photo taken at the time of the murder? It does not say one on that gate in the photo. Your Honor, here is the true scene of the crime. Show the judge where the murder took place. It's Studio 2! Whoa! Here, at Studio 2. <gasps> I see! That would explain the two on the gate in the photo. Oh, uh oh. Your
Your Honor, I find it very significant that the murder took place in Studio 2. Um, because the path was blocked. The path, ugh, the path to the trailer was blocked. So we have heard. The path was blocked at 2.15. In other words, the victim went to Studio 2 before that time. Yes, yes, I suppose that would be the case. Remember, Mr. Salmonella's testimony? Why did I use the judge's voice? I don't know. Allow me to remind the court. He said no one in the trailer was guilty because they could not have gone to Studio One. Yet, in actuality, the reverse was true. Only someone in the trailer could have committed this murder. They were the only ones with access to the scene of the crime, scene, uh, Studio 2. Oh my word, the murder took place at Studio 2 and not Studio 1! What is all this lies we've been told? As you may recall, there is a trailer in Studio 2. Now, on that day, a meeting was held in that very trailer. There was a break in the meeting cor corresponding to the time of death. They carried him in the van to Studio One. That's my guess. During that break, Mr. Salmonella and Miss D. Vasquez were outside eating steak. They were at the scene of the crime. Oh my word, maybe one of them is the murderer. Who could have done it? Uh, order, order. The defense makes the following claims. Sorry, popcorn pieces. The scene of the crime was Studio 2. The person that the security guard, Miss Oldbag, saw was the victim, Mr. Jack Hammer. Mr. Hammer, for some reason, stole a steel samurai costume. Then he went to Studio 2. This is madness! Jack Hammer is the victim! The victim! Why would he steal a steel samurai costume? Eh. Are you suggesting he did so to cover up the details of his own murder? What? Well, no, of course not. Hmm. Or do you have proof? Give me proof that the victim, Jack Hammer, stole the costume. Saving just in case, but... I have proof. Uh, you, you do? You do, Mr. Wright? Not that they're so surprised, suddenly I'm much less con confident. I think I'm right, though. If my name is not right! Here's my proof that Jack Hammer stole the costume. I guess it has to be the photo, right? We've been talking about it. Wait, no, that can't be right. I've got to have some proof that will knock their socks off. Mr. Wright, we don't have all the time in the world here. Y yes, Your Honor. Here's my proof. Oh, the sleepy pill! Right? Maybe? I'm just throwing out a whim here. This is it. An empty medicine bottle? I found this on the table in the employee area. The same table where Mr. Hammer and Mr. Powers ate. The label reads sleeping pills. Sleeping pills? The defendant, Mr. Powers, spent that entire afternoon sleeping. 
he was drugged by Mr. Hammer. So he could steal the costume and knew he wouldn't get interrupted. Wait a moment. That bottle does raise some suspicions, yes. But there was no proof that Mr. Hammer used it. Your Honor, I have an idea. Uh, I assume fingerprint the bottle. And I gotta wrap up the stream real fast. I gotta get ready for work. Uh, Ed, idea. Very well, let's hear it. I wanna check this bottle for fingerprints. If my claim is true, Mr. Hammers' fingerprints should show up on this bottle. Mm -hmm. I suppose you're right. Very well, the court will take possession of the bottle. The bottle given to the judge. This court will suspend proceedings on the current trial for today. Cody Hackins' testimony has revealed new possibilities in this case. In fact, things may have happened very differently than we previously thought. The steel samurai seen by Mr. Oldbag may have been the victim, Jack Hammer. The scene of the crime was not Studio One, but Studio Two. And those of the trailer did have time to commit murder. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor? Your homework is to find the answer to the following question. Why would Mr. Hammer steal the Steel Samurai costume? Also, who killed him and why? Find the answers for me by tomorrow. That's a lot of homework. Mr. Edgeworth? Mm. You will need to reconsider your stance in this case. Above all, you will need to reconsider your suspicion of Mr. Will's pa Will Powers. As you say, Your Honor. This trial will be extended until tomorrow. This is the last extension, because I'm tired of this bullshit. Yay! Very well, court is adjourned! I'll read through what I'm hoping is going to be a very short scene, and that'll be the perfect place to wrap up for today's stream. October 19th, 2.47 p.m. District Court Defendant Lobby Number 1. Whew! That was a close one. You were saved by a hair, but that's all that counts. I thought seriously about going home about three times during the trial. You mean heaven? What is home for you? M me too. Really? You both seemed so, so confident. Ah! <laughs> Maybe I should take up a career in- Oh wait, I get it. Ha! Maybe I should take up a career in acting? I was ready to pronounce you dead about three times back there. Me too. D dead <laughs> Of course we're kidding. Are you sure? I wasn't kidding. <laughs> Now, Mr. Powers, we have to go make our final investigation, but I promise you, we'll find the true killer by tomorrow's trial. R right Thanks! <laughs> I hope that- yay, to be con- to be continued! I hope the kid gets a photo op with Will Powers, 
That would be so adorable if they could talk and be like, Hey, do you don't mind that I'm the actor for the Steel Samurai? He's like, no, you're great! And it'd be adorable. And it'll be great. 